Okay, now they are officially dating. I don't know how to tell you this. You are my daughter, but not by blood. You were adopted. <gasps> Val's biological relative refused to me. Hello, my little peaches. Welcome to episode... 28 of my final gen of Not So Buried. This is just gonna go on forever, isn't it? Well, it's gonna go on until Liv dies. She is now an elder. However, I'm not looking at how many days she has left. I can see it if I want to because I have MCC, which does let me check how many days everyone has left to live. But I am choosing not to. She's currently lived for 75 days and that kind of feels like sort of similar to what age she would be. She's obviously had a mer medical miracle because she also has a toddler. That's not her grandbaby. She actually has zero grandbabies right now. That's not her grandbaby. That is her actual child. That is also a stinky dog. So let's go ahead and give that dog a bath, please. Doggo ran away last episode. I don't know if the new baby freaked it out or what, but Doggo did run away. However, Minzy, the golden retriever, is now back and smelly. So let's fix that. I also don't think they can get to the bath because of this plant here. So I'm just going to get rid of that plant. The kids here are doing their homework, although Bowen's not a kid for too much longer. He will be a young adult in three days at time because i'm skipping between households i never learned whether he actually ended up getting into his other school or not i'm assuming he didn't yeah it's, it's still stuck on starting application oh i never submitted it that'll do it that'll do it also val has one day left until she becomes a teenager or in my game a preteen because i have the preteen mod which i really really recommend because it has like a little life stage in between kids and teenagers where they just end up looking a little bit more like preteens i guess it's a really good mod gordon's still doing pretty good at his job at this point i'm finding my elders are sad all the time because everyone's dying because they're old so all the sims around them are dying as well which isn't great iris also is having a bit of trouble with her new freelance job. It is due by 9 a.m. on Sunday, so she's gonna have to pull an all-nighter because she can't get, yeah, she can't get some of her work approved. So I think I'm gonna have to start from scratch and start a new painting because they really hate that one I've tried to approve a few times. So someone's pulling all, an all-nighter. Time to do another character concept. And why don't we do a little read of Leani to sleep? Last episode, Liv discovered the joys of knitting. So she was knitting a bunch. I might actually have her come in and do a bit of knitting once Gordon's finished reading. Oh, your head's not black. Cool. Don't really know why you've done that, but awesome. Oh, when someone does not want to go to bed. You're going to get your book now. Please go to bed. We'll do some knitting while she's trying to get to sleep because then it's kind of cute. I don't know, knitting in the room while she's having a little schlep. <gasps> and oh my gosh, the application season has ended. And I told him to submit his final application after he finished his homework. So it's too late. I'm so sorry. It's fine. You're going to be aging up soon. You could definitely have gone to higher education. But I also think despite the fact you're super brainy, I kind of don't, I don't know. I don't feel like he's that bothered for it, you know? He does have to do the academic aptitude test. He's still doing really well. Oh, the reason I wanted to send him to school is because he should be an A student, but he's kind of not an A student. So I've got a few days to really work on him because I really want him to become a doctor. I just feel like he would suit that a lot. Oh, and Doggo's just collapsed of exhaustion in the hallway. Because he's super brainy, he's like into science very much so, but also he's very personable. Like he's just easy to get on with. So I don't know, I feel like that could suit him quite a lot. He's also, since Rain has moved out, moved Rain's like workout gear into his room because he's still got like this proper little like skinny teenage build and his big brother is like this proper like hench guy. So I feel like he's a little bit like, oh, I wanna, I kinda wanna look like my big bro, you know? But Rain's room is now totally changed because it's actually now Iris's room. And it's good because she can put all her paintings on the wall. She's got like loads of space. She's coming to come and hang out with her bro. He's not having any mood swings at the moment as a teenager. So he's actually like just loving being around his family, which is really nice. And I'm excited to see what he's going to look like when he grows up into a young adult. Is he going to keep this like little skinny shoulders sort of like he looks like such a teenager to me because his head looks really big compared to his body. And I'm excited to see how he looks. But our first birthday is actually going to be Val because it's her birthday tomorrow. So we need to get a cake and stuff ready for her birthday. It's on a Saturday, so maybe we could have a little day out with the farms. Val is definitely like a very quiet kid. She has the loner trait. She's adopted and she initially struggled when she moved into the household. However, I feel like Bowen really like helped her feel at home and she trusted him first. She hasn't made any friends at school, but I'm not pushing her to do that, to be honest. And why is the toddler still up with its dyed hair? 
please can we put baby to bed? And I also made Doggo a nice meal to celebrate coming home. So why don't we go ahead and don't eat it yourself. That's so gross. What? You can eat dog food in this game? I literally never knew that. And oh my gosh, literally just when I tell him that he's not going through a phase, he's like, now I'm going through a phase. Is this a loud phase you're going through? Yeah, he's going through a loud phase. Why don't you go work off some of that rage? And why are you sleeping, Missy? You've still got editing to do. This is your new character concept. Let's see if it's any better. Oh, that's way better. Okay, now you're actually working hard. A flying pig is like literally always going to be a fantastic concept. So can we maybe edit it a tiny bit more? Wait, where did you... Oh my gosh, she's gone back to bed again. I can't with the elder siblings and their work ethic in this house. Where did you put your drawing board? It's here. Why don't we edit... No, let's just submit it. It's probably perfect as it is. You're gonna have to wake up though. Okay, let's see if the client's still online. It still doesn't... <laughs> still doesn't meet their standards. How oh, you like, I think that one's really good. Now I could totally get it with this one because that is like literally just trash and it looks like a four-year-old did it. But the flying pig is really cute. I don't understand that. Anyway, do a bit more work on it. Tidy up a little bit and we'll try again. No sleeps until then, okay? Like she's having a little knit while... Ah, oh, for some reason now black haired child has a little sleep. We're just doing a little knit. And then I think she's going to fall asleep in the chair in her room. She's always been very family orientated. If any Sim was going to have a toddler as a 70 year old, it was going to be Liv, let's face it. Couldn't be me though, geez. Imagine trying to run around after a four year old at like 75. Can you imagine? Okay, what do we say? We're we looking more buff. I don't think we are, but the effort was there and I respect that. And oh my gosh, they're still rejecting it. What? I've edited it twice. Is it just broken? I can't figure out what's going on. I can't get them to accept this. And she's literally so tired now. I'm going to try with her, but she's too tired. It's like 5 a.m. I don't think we're going to get this accepted. I think we're going to fail our first freelance job. Okay, birthday girl's up first, hanging out with Doggo. And also, now she works on logic because her mental le is already level 10. So she starts to unlock like additional mental skills. And she's using Bowen's old science kit. And her little logic is growing. I think she might be even brainier than Bowen, you know? I will definitely try and get her into the school, I promise. Oh, someone's having a tantrum. We pooped in your pants, you dyed your hair, and now you're having a tantrum. We did say that this little bubbleroo might be a little bit more feisty than their siblings because mom's old and dad's old. Dad is also, he's old too. He's 79. So like, you know, it's harder to run around after a kid at that age, especially when you've got so many other kids. So as a result, the, I'm not saying the child's neglected. I'm just saying this child is more likely to be able to get away with a lot more things. And that already seems to be the case. Hi, Iris. Alex Stockton is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Oh, this is the girl we're interested in. This is our friend who we've had a bit of a flirt with. She's now wanting to go out with another girl. I'm gonna, oh, I feel bad, but I'm gonna say, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, she's definitely looking for someone to date. This is Rosemary Wrangle. If she's on the prowl and I want to date her, I need to make my move ASAP, basically. Bowen in full team form has awoken at quarter to midday and also has sore muscles. Good job, Bowen. Come get some breakfast. And the house does just feel more hectic. It really does. Liv usually run a really tight ship, but now she's not here anymore. Everything just feels way more hectic. Iris missed her deadline. Oh no, it's Sunday. Okay, you have one last chance. You're gonna have to try and edit this thing again. Why am I having to do it so many times? I really don't know. The pig is gorgeous. Bowen, when you finish your breakfast, can you take the dog out? What's broken? Oh my gosh, the sink is now broken. And I still need to make a cake for Val. Okay, look at this. Look at her like little whims. She wants to go and wake up Bowen and then just watch her mum from this silly tray <gasps> from seeking trouble. Oh my gosh, she's actually naughty. I told you guys, I told you guys she was going to be naturally cheeky. And I love it when they are. I love it when I don't have to do it. Like, it just naturally happens in game. Is she now splashing in that puddle? She's cheeky. She's a naughty one. Okay, I'm going to just like drop a text to Rosemary and be like, hey, want to hang out? And you got a present that you think is dumb. Okay, why don't you... Let's return it to the store then. <gasps> and I've just remembered that when Val is a teenager, I'll be able to like tell her about her adoption because the game advised not telling her until she was a teenager, even though I wanted to tell her like straight away. I wanted to, her to always know. It said wait until they're a teen. So I'm really wondering how she's going to react to that. I bet the family is also like, why is Rain like not come over and met his new baby sister? She has no idea who he is. Like literally he's not even on her list. But if you're wondering why Rain can't come over and meet the 
her new addition to the family. You need to check the werewolf series because he's too busy running around on four legs right now. Also, I asked you guys for name suggestions for Lilani in my last video. So let's see what you guys are suggesting. Because when we age her up, I think I will go ahead and change the name then. Oh, I love this idea. You guys actually suggested rather than a doctor, Hazen suggested maybe instead Bowen would be better as a vet because he's the one that ends up spending so much time with Minzy. And I actually think that makes so much sense. He is like Minzy's most, probably the one that caretakes her the most. Although you guys are out right now in a blizzard. So maybe a vet suits him more than a doctor. Okay, let me know what you guys think. Okay, some name suggestions. Opal is a gemstone that has rainbow iridescent specks. <gasps> that's really cool. And it's also a callback to Minzy's crystal collection. Oh, that's really big brain. There's also Sunny, since we already have rain, and rain and sun make a rainbow. Sky or Skylar, the sky is blue. Rainbows come from the sky. And Stormy, thank you for those ones, Isa. I think Opal, I know it's like a bit of a more, I see it as a more traditional name, like a little bit of a more old name. But I also know those names are like becoming fashionable again so i think it could work i really like opal so i think we'll use that and i wanted to go out for her birthday but it's literally a freaking blizzard so i think we might have to have the birthday inside instead <gasps> The indie dev Iris submitted her character design to had an air of pretension that rubbed Iris up the wrong way. They may have been looking for passionately crafted art, but Iris was just looking to get paid. And in that sense, it all worked out just fine. Approved. This is exactly... Oh my gosh, they made it edit it like four times. But we got our job paid. So I guess we need to go ahead and look for a new job now. These indie ones seem to pay the best, but they also seem to be the most biggest nightmares ever. But... We'll give it a go all the same. Wait, this is level three. Yeah, but this one pays more. Let's go for this one. So there we go. We've got a new job. We've got to chat with the client, create a splash art on the sketch pad and get the splash art approved. But I'm not going to do that right now because instead I have invited over Rosemary and I want to see if we can get anywhere with this. So I'm going to watch a movie with her. Liv is 75, so she has to have a little nap in the middle of the day now. So she's going to go ahead and have a nap. And then after that, we will do the birthday cake. It's in her inventory waiting to go. Plus, we want Gordon to get home and he doesn't get home till seven. So please hold on aging up until then. OK, so we're going to try some look flirting with Rosemary. She's been our friend for like a really long time. I don't actually know what she does. We do perceive her as like basic looking. So I don't know if I need to give her a little bit of a makeover at some point. But for now, we'll just uh, we'll see if this goes anywhere. Okay, throughout the conversation, Iris got the impression that Rosemary finds her quite attractive. And we were supposed to sit together so we could have a little snug. But instead, little Opal is like, what's happening? You guys look actually really similar. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, we didn't pay our bills? Oh, I didn't realize I didn't pay my bills. Oh my gosh, the TV's been switched off. We were watching romance and everything and oh no. Our bills are one pound. My bills are one pound in my other household as well. So I don't know if my bills are a little bit broken, but let's get the power back on. And let's also get the cake set up. Rain's at least calling to check in. He is still a mummy's boy. He is still a total mummy's boy. And oh, okay. Now that we've got the toddler off the sofa, we're trying to make a move. They actually look kind of similar, don't they? I don't know if it's going to be like her forever love or like her great love, but it's still a nice, like, safe first love. And I don't know. I feel like Iris deserves this. She's been pulling all night as trying to work hard. She's been after this for a long time. She's also feeling flirty from being on a period. So I'm just going to let her go all in. I'm going to let her go for it. And I have the ask to be girlfriend and the first kiss option. I kind of like that she asks her to be a girlfriend before they do their first kiss. I don't know. I think that's just really cute. Like, yeah. she's like, oh, I want us to be girlfriends. And then, like, literally agree to it straight away. Like, yeah, me too, me too. I was thinking the same. And then afterwards, they're like, oh, we should probably kiss, you know? We're gonna say so we're gonna do it in the order. Fun ways round. Oh, we're gonna do it in front of everyone. Okay, we're gonna make a whole, a whole thing of it. Yes. <laughs> okay, now they are officially dating and they don't do the like take a picture and stuff and put it on Instagram, I guess, because they've like not had their kiss yet. But now they have. And oh, look at Liv just turning around and doing a big smile at her. That's so cute. Okay, right. Everyone gather around. Everyone gather around. Because now we're doing birthday times. Everybody in this room, please. Stop working out. In this room. Gordon, you come in this room as well. I know you're tense from work. 
Everyone come in here. Go, 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 go. And let's go ahead and blow out the candles for little Val so that we can actually do the tell adopted thing. You guys were saying in the comments, it's too late. You should have told her as you'd want to tell from the start. I completely agree. I 100% agree, but I'm following what the game has suggested. So Val is now a preteen and has aged up. Now we already have, I think this, was this a trait from the first gen or not? No, I don't think it was. Let me double check because I'm giving giving or do i give it to oh i was doing a thing where i give all traits from minzy to my children as they age up so that like all of them have one of minzy's traits so bowen i think got the vegetarian i think rain got jealous Actually, maybe they all have one. Maybe the first three have one already, which means I guess we can give Iris, uh, sorry, Val, any trait that we want. And I think because she's done so much sciencey stuff, I kind of want to give her the genius trait. I know that her brother has it too, but I kind of like that she shares a trait with Bowen because, you know, she has the special bond with him too. And I think I'm going to make her like book smart, the Renaissance sim. That seems to make the most sense for me for Val. So let's go ahead and check her out in Cass. And I've just realized I didn't give Bowen the vegetarian trait. He got outgoing and genius. So maybe I'll give it to him when he ages up. Because Iris did get materialistic. Okay, yeah, let's do that instead. So as a reminder, this is how Val looked as a child. Red hair and beautiful brown eyes. A fab combo, I have to say. And here is her unceased form as a teenager, as a preteen, technically. Which does mean she's short and it's going to make it a little bit hard to edit, but we'll persevere. Okay, so this is her with like the same eye CC. A lot of the similar face CC. I went for a slightly different eye overlay because I downloaded some new ones recently. I'm just adding a few more little flecks to her eyes because you know how much I love an eye fleck. And then clothing wise, I've just kind of kept her like quite relaxed. Like I feel like she's still like, set when her mom's like, oh, I got you this beautiful like blue cashmere sweater because like it's a mom's favorite color. But in general, I just feel like she just likes to dress comfy. She's not really interested in fashion. I'll just give her a little necklace as well. Again, I feel like that's from her mom with the little butterflies and flowers and hearts. Definitely from her mom. I also haven't put any makeup on her or anything because um, she's a preteen. She's too young. And then let's also go ahead and change her name to Opal. There we go. So Opal Berry, hopefully the final berry born in this family. So here she is in preteen form. I am immediately going to get her to begin the school application system. I'd have to wait till she's a teen because she's still in middle school. But then it takes a few days to do it. Okay, it does take a few days to do it. And I need to get her grades up first. Okay, fine. We'll just start on the grade stuff for now. So why don't you do your homework? He's super happy celebrating her birthday. Cute head. You're also super stinky though. So please go upstairs and shower. New girlfriend is leaving, but... We have a girlfriend now, so that's exciting, Iris. Well done. So Liv has fallen asleep knitting in her knitting chair and all of her many skirt layers. Toddler has escaped off Galavant and in here, going to get some cake, even though the sugar's going to drive them crazy. Bowen is up late, obviously vexed because she's got a dirty nappy. Do we need to change a nappy? He's up late chit-chatting with Madeline on the PC. However, I'm going to see if I can like... You know, because it's like half two in the morning. They're probably like tired, but they're also like teens. And I'm going to see if I can make their like, he is giggling away. I'm going to see if I can make their chit chat turn like a little bit, a little bit interesting. You know, they are both becoming young adults very soon. I'm just going to see if she's receptive at all, especially because he does have a crush on her. He finds it cute. Oh! <gasps> No, and as soon as I go to do that, the PC breaks. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, I've got enough money to just straight up replace her. But I don't know if she's still going to be online. Is that a sign that I shouldn't be doing it? Is that like a sign from the Sim Gods? I don't know. We're going to try anyway. And he's having a cozy online chat with Madeline, who is like one his oldest friend. He's found her in the wild being like all sad and miserable, but also an entrepreneur. And ever since then, we've kind of just stayed in touch. He's always doing school or stuff as well. So I've, I haven't managed to invite her around too much. But tomorrow's Sunday. If, as long as you get to sleep on time, maybe I can invite you around. And just as was expected, Opal is now on a sugar high. Okay, I think I'm going to get Bowen to put her to bed. Oh, and actually it was uh, Liv that managed to catch her. She was just about to wake up Iris. She loves waking them all up. She's actually so naughty. I wanted her to be this way. But the fact that she's done it on her own is like even better. And she's obviously on a sugar crash now. If that Liv is going to be like, oh my gosh, Bowen, get off that PC. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I know you're almost an adult, but this is just ridiculous. Go to bed. Bed right now. No going and getting a drink. Look at your old Yorkfield classic. You want a cheeky online chat on a little bevy? I don't think so. You're not an adult yet. Okay? No, bed. However, they do now have some romance, you guys. 
They are now lovebirds. I love her. She's so cute. She kind of looks like a Borderlands character. She just reminds me of that game so much. And Bowen is now going through a phase. Like, what? Do you want to make a donation to Cherry? Yeah, sure. Why are you rebellious? You're literally aging up in like four minutes. Is this because you stayed up all night chit-chatting and flirting and literally just being a bit of a nightmare right now? Literally loud and rebellious. I know you're working out because you like look at Rain's physique and feel a bit intimidated, but please don't turn into Rain, okay? Rain is great, but we only need one of him, okay? One Rain is more than enough. So please don't take after Rain. Opal is up and is doing a little bit of sky gazing. I need to make sure a meteor doesn't arrive on her head. And I think today's the day we're going to have a little chit chat with her about like her adoption and stuff and make sure that she knows everything. We don't want to keep anything secret from her. I'm interested to know how she's going to react. Gordon is walking the dog and then has to head into work. Bless him. He works all the time. <gasps> and you know what? I've just realized I did. I changed. Why did I do that? I bet you guys have been screaming at the screen. Like, what did you... Why have you just done that? I've changed the wrong names around. Lalani is... Oh my gosh, Claire. What are you even... Why is my brain just gone? My brain is literally just gone. You're the one that's meant to be Opal. And I changed Valerie's name. Have I been calling her Opal this... Oh my gosh, Claire. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Rain is actually here as well. Wow, that was so dumb. Valerie, that's how we spell it, I think. Okay, her name's back now. And Rain is actually here, okay. I'm gonna invite him in. Please, please don't turn into a werewolf. Please, 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 please. It will be his first time meeting his little sister. At least she's gonna be washed. Oh, and look at this reluctantly hosting from Bad Mannered Visitor. Playing host to a sim with bad manners has put her in a bad mood. I don't think her and Rain get along that way. They don't not get along well, but they definitely don't totally get along well. And he's not looking like he's in fury or anything. Like, I think he's safe right now, at least. Oh my gosh. Did I ever change out his teeth? I need to change his teeth, don't I? Oh no, I said I'd do it when he gets to the next level. Okay. And oh my gosh, look at this. She's just solving linear equations, even though that's teen homework and she's a preteen. She's just doing it anyway. How is she this brainy? What the hell? She truly is a genius, isn't she? And Rain is like talking about something that she's just finding so un like inspiring. It's not like, I don't know. It's not really doing anything for her. And okay, let's get Opal to go ahead and can I meet him? Can I say anything to him? Can I show him a toy maybe? You've never met Rain, but he is your big brother. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna distract I'm gonna try and distract as many people as I can so I can kind of get some alone time with Val. So I'm gonna invite Madeline around by Bowen. We've got Rain meeting Opal. He's meant to be like checking out her okay. Oh, Oh, maybe you guys do get on better than I thought. Maybe he knows that she doesn't like hugs, so he gives her like hip bumps and stuff instead, which is kind of cute. Okay, so this is Madeline. She's super cute. I actually, she's such a Borderlands character. I love her so much. So you guys need to hang out today. Stop, keep trying to drink. Also, you're struggling being around your family, so it seems like a good time to like hang out with a friend, you know? And also don't speak to Rain. That is the start of every disaster ever. Come and have some cake together and then like go like hang out downstairs or something. Iris, can you please do your free? freelancer work. Rain is keeping an eye on Opal. Okay, this is perfect. And Gordon is at work. So I can get Liv and Val to go for a little walk. I know it's a freaking blizzard. Actually, you know what? It's, it's a freaking blizzard. Let's just go upstairs and oh my gosh, everyone's upstairs. You need to do your work. Please go downstairs and do your work. And you've mastered the painting skill. Okay, good job. I'm gonna sit here and oh my gosh, these guys want to go on a date. I really want to go on a date, but right now... Oh, oh. I'll see you later tonight, okay? Right now, I need you guys to sit um, and we're gonna have a conversation. Okay, so I'm just gonna chit chat around it first. I don't wanna launch immediately into the heavy subject. Also downstairs, Opal is learning animal flashcards from Rain. I feel like there may be a few additional, you know, cards in there if you're learning from a werewolf, but hopefully he's just gonna teach you the main animals. And ooh, artwork approved. Well done, Iris. Let's go ahead and see which additional options I get. Adoption. Reveal that Valerie was adopted. Okay, I've never done this before. So I don't know what's about to happen, but okay. A revelation. Oh gosh, I don't know how to tell you this. I pictured how this conversation would go a thousand times, prepared what to say, and I'm still at loss for words. Valerie, it's simple and yet it isn't. Oh, she's got up and left. 
You are my daughter, but not by blood. You were adopted. We adopted you from the Sim World Agency for adoption. We have the contact info of your biological parents, and we've been in touch a few times. The name of your biological father is Faiz Jalal. Here's their phone number. You can call them through the adoption menu, provided you're at least a teen. Okay, she's gone immediately downstairs. I feel like she's immediately going to go research that name heavily on Google. And how is she feeling about it all? I was adopted. Valerie was adopted. There's been a doubt here and there, sure, but never too serious. The news is a little dizzying. Will it change anything? Will Valerie suddenly wonder what things would have been like in another life in which she'd have stayed with her biological parents? Will she wonder endlessly why her biological parents turned her back on her? Oh no. Oh bless her. She seems like mostly okay. She's got the focus trait, but if she didn't right now, she'd be feeling a bit dazed by the news. And if I click on her, is her biological father still alive though? This is the thing. We've waited so long that I don't know if he's actually still here. Oh, yep. Now she's feeling dazed. Okay. I can call biological parent to me. I don't know if you'd really want to do things so soon, but... <gasps> Val's biological relative refused to meet. Oh no, denied meeting. Why would they refuse to meet? We let them know, like we kept in touch and like told her she's feeling really tense. Family isn't just genes. The words staggered out of Liv's mouth, held in for so long and still so difficult to speak out. You were adopted. Oh, there were more words around that, of course, reassurances and such. And in the background, some sort of guilt. Liv can't really explain like she did something bad, perhaps saddened by the possibility of causing a child's sadness with this revelation. All the same, it is said now and the reaction was predictable. Numb shock. The true reactions will emerge once the news sinks in. <gasps> Oh no. And she's feeling a little bit sad because Val is feeling sad about her parents not wanting to meet her. That sucks. Why would you not want to meet? Oh gosh, no. That makes me so sad. Oh, and she's like fully stressed. She's having a stress dance. So guys, it is done. We've told her that she's adopted. She seems to take the news well initially. She did immediately start researching and then attempt to contact her parents, but she got denied. I have a feeling some more feelings are going to come spilling out of that as we continue to play with the mud. Rain is also here and in true rain form. Absolutely true rain form, but... Yeah, okay, now he does that too. Cool. And also little Val, not Opal, aged up. But Opal will be aging up next episode. She has two days left and Bowen has one day left. So we'll have two birthdays next episode. But we'll, of course, be in werewolves. So we may rejoin this household once they've already aged up, depending on how long we spend in werewolves. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and show it some love by giving it a like below. Let me know what you think about everything that happened in this episode in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.